the playbook is too complicated. We simplify it. The playbook's too slow. When I'm on the field, I just gotta feel it. So I gotta let it out. Is that why you've been changing the plays? No, I'm just trying to read the defense. I'm not talking about audibles. I'm talking about in the huddle. Look, when you change plays, you're showing disrespect to a lot of people mean in this organization. People who have worked over years in this club, around this league, people sacrifice more than you'll ever know to be I'm in this I'm trying theater. to win, coach. I ain't trying to disrespect nobody, but winning is the only thing I respect. Okay, son. I want you to listen very carefully, because one day you're going to realize this is the truest thing you ever heard. This game. This game has got to be about more than winning. You're part of something here. Lombardi, Tittle, Sammy Bohr, Unitas, hundreds of great players, those men on the wall. You're part of that now. Along the way, I want you to cherish it because when it's gone, it's gone forever. You know, when I look at them pictures and trophies and stuff, it just makes me sad. It's like a room full of ghosts. When I'm done with this game, or the game is done with me, I don't want to be no ghost on the wall. I want to be more than that. Looks like uh, Cap is going to make it back in time for the playoffs. What? Almost done him. I knew that's, that's the only reason you got me here. I knew you was going to sell me out. Cap's a leader. He's a team player. That's bullshit. You need a that team is such to bullshit. He ain't half the athlete I am. You look me in the eye and tell me that Cap is a better player. Cap's a better player. Well, I guess I was somebody else out there winning them last two games, huh? I put no. the points on the board. He lost four in a row. I, I lead by I doing it. You kicked ass. Yeah, kid. I did. But I'll tell you something. Cap Rudy's been doing it for years. And his time is over. <laughs> And yours is, too, unless you start taking some risk Bro. and start playing this game the way it's played today. It is not about the pitches hey, and trophies on the I lived no this more. game for three decades, kid. I know football. Now, those men on the wall, they oh. wanted to win. Just like you do. You can feed the press and the fans that whole sacrifice and glory of the game crap. You do it well. But I've been there. I've seen a long line of coaches just like you all in from college with that same old bullshit halftime speech. Bullshit. Yes. Is that what you Yes, it's bullshit. You know, you know want, it's man. bullshit because it's about the money. Breaking in the TV contracts, fat cat boosters sitting in the sky boxes, the coaches trying to up their salaries. And the whole time, what you looking for? You looking for the next black stud to take it to the top ten. Get you in a bowl game. It's the same way in the pros. Except in the pros, the field hands get paid. Come on, don't play that race card on me, kid. 25 years I work with men of your color. Maybe it's not racism, maybe it's placism. Brother has to know his place, right, boss? I don't understand what you're talking What are you talking about? You don't trust anybody because of what happened to you in college? Come on, Willie. You knew the rules.